Good morning, Mogu High Squad. Yes, we are all here in the van. Mm -hmm. The guy is even here. She's so excited this morning because we're going to a very cool place to do a very cool thing. Mm -hmm. Mogu High Squad, this morning we are going to On Apple Drive, yes! Guys, this is a big day for RJ. So you guys know RJ's Apple Drive, right? It is a charity, an outreach program where the Apple Drive teaches kids to eat healthy and live healthy lifestyles. Good morning, RJ. RJ's going to heaven. By the way, guys, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. This here is Ligaya. That's at the LC. That's RJ Garcia. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button to join our Mabuhai squad. We'll be your daily dose of positive vibes. Yes. We're here in Lipa, Batangas, Philippines right now. And this is gonna be so much fun. If you guys are new to the Apple Drive, it basically involves a lot of kids, some fun, learning, and a lot of apples. And giving back to the community, you know what I'm saying? Ako si Kuya RJ at ako yung isa nagpasimula ng The Apple Drive Project. So ang ginagawa namin, kumikigot kami sa iba't ibang bahagi ng Pilipinas, sa Luzon, sa Visayas, Charity work really fulfills RJ. So you know he's a good, a good person. <laughs> he's a good boy. Are you enjoying? Yeah, you like all these kids. I feel like my bird loves being around crowd. She gets really excited. Gaia, you like you like all these kids? She wants a scratch. Oh, Okay, so for this section, um, they're gonna teach kids proper hand washing. It's part of the whole like healthy lifestyle advocacy. We may think it's kind of basic, you know, washing your hands, but sometimes a lot of kids don't know the proper way to wash your hands. There's a certain standard, there's a way, a proper way to make sure your hands are clean. I'd like you to meet my Tita Panga. You are my mom's cousin. Yes, and she and the, the association. Is this your association? Lipa, Lipa City Medical. We're the ones to organize this entire Apple Drive. So thank you for your good work. Hello. Doctors, they're all doctors, guys. <laughs> okay, now we're taking pictures. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good 
This bird is really happy right now. But guys, you like being on <laughs> And now they're doing an apple eating contest. <laughs> and the kids are loving this. Cheering on their friends. Go, go, go! <laughs> who won? Who won? These here are the teachers. Hello. And this is a public school. Hi. Now, here in public schools, they need to wear uniforms, the kids. I think all schools generally need to wear uniforms. I, I, I have to ask, I'm not sure. I didn't go to school here. Do they wear school uniforms in all schools in the Philippines? Yes. All? I guess so, right? Oh, wow. That's a good idea. It's different in North America. <laughs> but even public schools have to wear uniforms. The guys, let's get some sunlight. Yes. Valuable, valuable sunlight. Step up here. Here. No? Okay, you can stay on my shoulder. I don't mind. So in case you're new to birds, birds absolutely need sunlight for the good of their feathers, to help them produce vitamin D3, which helps them absorb calcium, right? The guy who wants back in the crowd, you wanna go back? And they say it's also really good for like their, their, their emotions. Some say it uh, helps with stimulating breathing and all of this. And African greys in particular, it was discovered recently, they have a precursor to vitamin D3 on their feathers, which they smother onto their feathers. So there's a real kind of complex chemical and physical reaction happening with the sun, the birds, like ultraviolet rays from the sun, and the birds' feathers, and their overall health. Grace is here. Oh my! She's showing me this bug. Oh wow! I think that's a longhorn beetle of some kind. Beautiful. They have awesome creatures here in the Philippines. Awesome, awesome creatures. So RJ, who donated the apples this time? And like the stuff, the supplies? Some of our friends. And today we, we actually partnered with them. Awesome. So this is our pre-Big Apple Day event. In August we'll be having our Big Apple Day. And we'll be giving away apples to 13,000 kids. What? Approximately 13,000 kids. 13,000 kids? Yes. In three schools. We have a main event for uh, for approximately 6,000 kids in one location and the rest to other schools. Wow, that's awesome! Isn't that great, my boy squad? You're doing such great work. RJ, where can they go to help donate? We can visit our uh, website, theappledriveproject.com. Oh, boy. There you have it, guys. The kids are asking, does she talk? Oh, yeah. she said hello. Savinya, hi. Oh. They want to hear you sing. 
Good morning, Jaya. Jaya's here as well. Mm -hmm. All right. These kids are so patient. It's your turn next. Yeah. Huh? They're so organized. <laughs> All right, Lagaya. Was that fun? Yeah. I thought so too. OMG, Mabu High Squad. Encyclopedias in 2019. All right. Hi, kids. So we're out here in Lipa, Batangas. It's um, out in the province, like in the, uh, the countryside. It's beautiful out here. Just a little bit of rice. Yes. This bird is truly Filipino. She eats white rice with everything. <laughs> but not too much. It contains a lot of sugar. I wonder if I can get my bird on keto. All right, Mabu High Squad, and now we are all here at a very very special place. Isn't it always special for these cliffhangers? Mabu High Squad, check out where we are.